vlog, folks. I wish I had recorded this video earlier. The sun is already set, and there's some dark clouds over there. I'm a little bit worried about rain. It's supposed to be clear all night. But anyway, today I'm going after the Tulip Nebula. It's going to be a wide field view with the Rasa, and I'm going to shoot it in narrow band. And that's my comfort zone. I. I, I, I had a hard time fighting off the light pollution for galaxy season. I want to get back to, to having clean data again. And uh, I hope you don't hear all the air conditioning units going on now. It, it, it's that season again. But anyway, other than, uh, be, besides just the Tulip Nebula, what I've been reading about is that there, I didn't know this before, but there's actually uh, an X-ray source, a black hole, right outside of the Tulip Nebula, and I might be able to pick up an arc. I hope so. That might be a shock wave from that black hole. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, I'm a little bit worried about these clouds. I'm going to go right now and uh, uh, I'm going to get my tarps ready just in case it sprinkles. Okay, so I have both rigs out and uh, this video is for the Rasa, which right now is pointing at the Tulip nebula so let's go into that setup oh well here's my guiding let's see how my guiding is right now uh, well I just did a dither here let's clear that out for a second point uh, five eight I just started here point five four I'm looking at the tote RMS here <clears throat> Excuse me. Guiding is really good right now, so I'm not uh, not too concerned about guiding today. Actually, uh, I'm never too concerned about guiding with the EQ6R Pro. It's a great mount. So let me go into Sequence Generator Pro. And right now, I am capturing oxygen on the Tulip Nebula, and I already have um, a little over five hours of HA, and I was looking, there there was not a whole lot of difference between three hours and five hours, so I think I'm probably good with five hours of data, uh, I hope, and um, I wanted more sulfur, I, I've got over almost four hours of sulfur, I didn't stack yet, so I'll have to see on that. And I'm going to spend the rest of the night just capturing oxygen. And um, uh, I use the same gain and offset for all of them. Uh, 75, 15. And I'm, I'm imaging in Sequence Generator Pro. Um, it's starting to seem like a dinosaur because I see so many people now um, that are switching over to Nina. Um, if I'm saying that right. And it's, it's starting to get tempting, so I'm not sure. And... Um, We'll have to see how this goes. I'm going to, I'm, it, it's hard to get me to change, um, but if, if if Nina keeps improving and SGP goes nowhere, I'll probably make the jump too. Um, now, I was talking about a black hole in, in near the Tulip Nebula, and let me show you what I what I what I maybe might have picked up. Now, let's see here. So here's what I'm talking about. This was an APOD by Steve Cullen. And look, he made a really nice diagram here. When I mouse over it, um, I guess the black hole is in right, uh, right there, obviously. And it's creating a, looks like a, some kind of jet that's coming out of a relativistic jet. And it's creating this arc, uh, uh, like a, a bubble nebula. And so... Uh, jet powered bubble nebula so what i want to see did i actually capture that let's take a look here so i don't know what my other filters may show so far i only have the i've only stacked ha and uh this is five hours of ha which i did a little processing on and i'm really knocked out by it it looks i think this data looks amazing and um the the black hole would be right about there, according to that that A pod, and and I, I swear I see that that the jet stream would be shooting out here, 
and I think I see that arc. What do you What do you guys think? And uh, I think it's right there. And you know, looking at this makes me think maybe I, I actually do need more data. But um, I I did a, a star list using Starnet, and I definitely see an arc in the starless image it's right there i didn't touch anything up in this and uh do you see that so i'm picking up a bubble nebula created by the jet stream of a black hole how cool is that so i don't know what the other filters might show the only problem is it's right on the edge so i'm hoping my plate solving lines up my all my filters perfectly because I have no room to spare if anything is a little off uh, I'm worried this might get truncated but you know what if it does get truncated off I've got proof that at least at one point I did capture it <laughs> it's right there all right well that's all I got folks I will see you later